Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is some radical expressions. So I have two of these. I have the ninth root of y raised to the 6, z raised to the third power. And then the second problem is the cube root of y times the fifth root of y squared. And you're to simplify these uh, each radical or radical expression using rational exponents. So pause the video and see if you can try to do both of these on your own. Okay, so in the directions it says use rational exponents. So in your steps, you're going to use rational exponents. So for the first one, you want to rewrite it. So it's y. Now whatever this is, it's the ninth root. So it would be the ninth root of y to the sixth. Whatever it's being raised to, that goes into the um, numerator. And then the denominator is the root. So it would be y raised to 6 over 9. Do the same thing with the z. So it would be 3 raised to the 3 ninths. Again, the, whatever it's being raised to goes in the top. Whatever the root is, that's what's going to go into the denominator. Now next you simplify it. So 6 over 9, 3 goes into both of those. So it would be 2 thirds. You have z. That would be 3 ninths, which is 1 third. Now notice that both of these are 3's. So I can rewrite it as the cube root of y squared z. Now for the second one, you're going to do a similar thing. Keep that on the screen. So you're going to do a similar thing. Rewrite the both of these separately. So it would be y raised the 1 third. And then y raised to the 2 fifths. Again, whatever power is being raised to, that goes in the numerator. Whatever the root is, that goes in the denominator. Same thing with this one. Uh, you have y. This is 2 fifths. right? So the root goes in the denominator. The power goes in the top part. Now you need to combine these together. Now when you're multiplying uh, fraction, sorry, when you're multiplying exponents that have the same base, you need to take those powers and add them together. But with fractions, I can't just add them together. I have to find the LCD. The LCD of 3 and 5 would be 15. So what times 3 will give me 15? 5. Then you multiply the top and the bottom by 5. Here, multiply the top and the bottom by 3. So I get y raised to the 5 fifteenths times y raised to the 6 fifteenths. Then you would add those together. 5 fifteenths plus 6 fifteenths is 11 fifteenths. You would simplify this as possible, but here you can't. But you need to write it as a single radical. So 15 is the roots, so be 15 y raised the 11th. And that's it.